Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah from those very important supplications of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a supplication that all of us need because all of us eat and drink. And we are all, of course, in need of substance and rizq from Allah Azza wa Jal. And from those dua, prophetic dua, after one has finished eating, that I want for us all to memorize if we haven't and practice as much as we can is the supplication of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when a person finishes eating his or her food and that is the dua that after eating a person says Alhamdulillah ladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqanihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwwat The person after finishing partaking in a meal the Muslim should say as a means of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as a means of following the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the person should say, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi at Amani. All praise belongs to the one who's fed me. Uh, the, the one who's fed me this, you know, the food that's before you, the food that you just per, uh, partook in. Warazakanihi, very important, and has provided me with this without menghidi haulan haulan minni walakua, without any effort from me. Or might, meaning the might is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might and no power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this prophetic supplication is immensely beneficial and powerful when we analyze it. Because here the believer showing his or her gratitude for the sustenance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided by saying Alhamdulillah ladhi at'amani hadha the, you know all praise belongs to the one who has provided me with this so here the believer is acknowledging that even though they may have been a reason a sabab that the ultimate reason is because Allah blessed them to have that sub to 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 have that sub up to have that reason so for example you went to work you uh, earned a living but you were only able to go to work due to the blessing of Allah you were only able to earn that money and gain that money that was sufficient to provide that food because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so just a simple dua like this if we reflect on its meaning, and this is why it's so important to reflect on the Qur'an and reflect on the Sunnah. And Allah orders us to make remembrance and uh, reflect on the Qur'an. Because that is our najah. That is our success. And when we do, we really become grateful. But when we're busy and we're, we just eat and we just say the dua, which most of us do, we say it, we say it out of 
uh, you know, out of habit, and we may have meaning behind it, but we're, it's not like every time we say it, we're really reflecting, we're really contemplating on the meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who favored you with that. You thought you were something just because you went to the store and you purchased that, uh, that, that food for your family. You thought you did a great job. But when you really reflect and contemplate, you will know and understand that Allah Jal is the one who favored you with the health to get to work, with the means to go forward and, 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 and the means for the, the job itself and the fact that you were able to get a paycheck that they didn't refrain and from holding that to you and cheat you and every aspect of it was due to the blessings and grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why you're saying alhamdulillah when the believer the mu'min is saying alhamdulillah they're acknowledging that all the praise belongs to Allah really that all of it belongs to Allah it isn't just simply a phrase but it's an acknowledgement. Alhamdulillah. All praise belongs to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and when we say, We're acknowledging that all the might and the, the, the powers from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's all from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. That none of it is possible without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, by saying la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, or by saying the dua, going back to the dua, wa razaqnihi. So here, the, the, the mu'min, when praying and, and acknowledging this, they're acknowledging that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who, who gave them that sustenance. You know, it, that Allah fed them, He gave them the food, but He's the one who gives provisions. That's giving full acknowledgement to Allah Azza wa Jal. You're praising Him and you're acknowledging His favor and that He is our razaq and that He gives you this rizq, He gives you this provision. And that there is none, uh, that it would not be possible at all without Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all his divine names and attributes to continue to provide for us and not test us with our rizq and sustenance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our rizq and sustenance and bless us with all of those things which please him and protect us from those things which displease him wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam